So the FDA just approved of abortion pills being delivered uh, through online order. So you can go online and you can order abortifacients. You can order pills that will kill your unborn child because for some reason it is a nuisance to you. Um, <laughs> so in Texas, they recently passed a law outlawing the purchasing of abortion pills, um, outlawing the, the ordering of abortion pills. The question that I have is, how is the government of Texas going to prohibit this? How is the government of Texas going to enforce this law? So I was doing some research on this, and I found uh, I found an interview uh, of this. Um, I found an interview with this woman who specializes um, in abortion specializes she's just a an e it's just another evil witch that that has become so common in american society i don't know what else to tell you guys um so in this interview with the texas standard she says that she thinks that the law is trying to target people who just want to do abortions outside of the clinic and she goes on to say I think it's a challenge for those who want to ban abortion and for legislators to try to stop that practice because it is happening outside of the formal healthcare system. So this is an attempt to do that and to stop one way in which someone might self-manage, which is to get abortion pills through the mail. Although my sense is that this bill will probably not make any difference to that practice. So this woman says that the law is not really going to make a difference um, as to people ordering abortifacients online. It's not going to make a difference because how the hell is the Texas government going to enforce this? How? How? Is it going to look at everyone's mail? It's very difficult to, to enforce, to enact such a law. And so when COVID for, first broke out, um, the Democrats wanted to... Um, allow for people to order abortion pills on the internet. They wanted to allow for people just to order abortion pills to their home like they would be purchasing something from Amazon. And the Trump administration said, no, we're not going to allow this. But now it's allowed under the Biden administration. The Biden administration allowed this, and now the FDA just approved of this. Um, so here is what this really indicates to me. It does not indicate that America is having this huge shift towards the pro-life movement. It does not indicate to me that, uh, that America is becoming this tremendously pro-life country. What it indicates to me is that there are laws that are being uh, uh, passed against abortion, but they're going to be to a great extent, difficult to enforce. Why? Even if you outlaw abortion in the clinics, the so-called clinics, people are still going to order the pills online. In fact, around 40% of all abortions in America are done through abortifacients. They're done through abortion pills. So how the hell are you going to stop abortion when the method by which people conduct abortions are are great is greatly shifting towards just consuming a pill how are you going to do it so what this indicates to me what this what, what this really shows us is that as long as you have enough people and and by enough i mean roughly 50% uh in the united states Supporting abortion, wanting abortion, demanding for abortion, you're not going to get rid of abortion in the United States. You might greatly reduce it or you might reduce it to some extent, but you're not going to get rid of it. You can enact all the laws you want. As long as you have enough people demanding for something, they're going to get their hands on it. It's like drugs. You can ban marijuana. 
People, my cats are fighting right now. Goodness, kitties, behave yourselves. <laughs> behave yourselves. You can enact all the laws you want. As long as you have people supporting abortion, it's going to be there. People smoking weed, you can ban weed all you want. And I think drugs should be outlawed. I believe marijuana should be outlawed. But as long as you have people smoking ganja, smoking weed, and smoking blunts, people are going to smoke it. So truly, truly, the only way to ban abortion is to change the culture. And looking at the society today, uh, Christians are, uh, they are on a uphill battle. Um, and I know I keep hearing Catholics talking about how, oh no, we're going to have some Catholic revival where, you know, St. Joan of Arc is going to come back from the dead. France is going to take over the world. A lot of people have these ideas, but at this point, it's just, uh, it's just LARPing at this point. It's just, uh, uh, wishful thinking. Um, because the world is being consumed by Darwinian ideology and they're being consumed by this, for lack of better words, very selfish mentality that says, well, I want an abortion because I want to advance my career. Bottom line, that's what it is. People who get abortions are not going to like for the most. Okay. Death by pregnancy is extremely rare extremely rare people who get abortions for the most part want to get an abortion not out of necessity or well, there's there's really no necessity for to kill your own child but they don't get an abortion in, in the situation where they're about to die get, giving birth they get these pills because they see the pregnancy as a hindrance to whatever goals they have usually we're talking about a career might be, I don't know, a career in porn or being the CEO of some corporation. Who knows? Maybe you got banged by your boss because you're trying to get up there in the corporate ladder and now you're pregnant. So you get an abortion. I don't know. But most of the time, we're talking almost 100% of the time, women who have abortions are not in a life or death situation. They're, they're getting an abortion because they think that the pregnancy is an impediment to something. So there is a demand for abortion because of this mentality. And as long as there is a demand, there is a supply. As long as there is a demander, there is a supplier. And the supplier is always there. It's like a drug dealer. So you're not going to get rid of abortion even if you put the most restrictive, emphatic laws in the books. As long as people want abortion, they're going to do it. You have to change the culture. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. So that's my thought on that. Anyway, you guys just heard some. Theo, Lanji, God bless.